This video shows how to replace the GPU riser on a PowerEdge T550. Before you begin, power off the system and disconnect all of the attached peripherals. Ensure that you always use ESD protection when working inside the system. For more information about safety guidelines, see the service manual at dell.com forward slash PowerEdge manuals. To begin, first remove the system cover. To do this, rotate the lock on the top of the system cover to the unlock position. Lift the latch to disengage the cover from the system. Then lift the system cover off. Remove the air shroud by holding the touch points and lifting it out of the system. Now, to remove the cooling fan cage, first you must lift the blue release levers to release the cooling fan cage, and then, holding the blue release levers, lift it out of the system. To remove the fan board tray, loosen the captive screw and slide the fan board tray to the right of the system to disengage it. Lift the fan board tray out of the system. Now, to remove the GPU riser, first disconnect the GPU riser cables from the system board. Now loosen the captive screws securing the GPU riser to the system. Lift the GPU riser from the system. To replace the GPU riser, align the GPU riser to the slot in the system and lower it until firmly seated. Tighten the captive screws to secure the GPU riser to the system. You can now connect the GPU riser cables to the connector on the system board. To replace the fan board tray, align the fan board tray to the guide pins in the system and slide it to the left until firmly seated. Secure the fan board tray by tightening the captive screw. To replace the cooling fan cage, align the cooling fan cage to the guide pins in the system and lower it until firmly seated. Close the blue release levers to secure the cooling fan cage to the system. To install the air shroud, align the air shroud with the guide pins in the system and lower it until it is firmly seated. Finally, replace the system cover. To do this, align the cover with the guide slots in the system and place it into position. Lower the latch to engage the cover into the system. Then, rotate the lock on top of the system cover to the lock position. If you need more information or assistance, go to dell.com forward slash PowerEdge Manuals.